What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Tonight I have your SDCC Mattel WWE Action Figure Preview Night review for you guys. Yes ma'am, we talked about it earlier. I said today was going to be a triple upload day. Here we freaking are guys. We got some big reveals on Preview Night of San Diego Comic Con. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically San Diego Comic Cons where they reveal all of the brand new WWE action figures that we're going to be getting. And tonight is the Preview Night where they go through and they kind of show us you know, what's to expect for tomorrow they they tease us they show us some reveals of new figures that are coming out and um so so tonight we have some big reveals guys and i'm super excited i cannot wait to show you guys these and we are starting off with the ultimate edition series number three finn balor figure guys do you see this finn balor right here look at this finn balor and tell me you're not excited for this SummerSlam 2018 finn balor i freaking love this i think this is fantastic i'm so excited to get this in the hand, and I, I'm going to be buying many of these for customs and different things like you know, repainting the head scans and stuff like that, and double jointed arms on these Ultimate Edition figures, guys. You can see there it comes with two head sculpts. Um, hopefully, I'm hoping it comes with a third one, maybe with the paint rubbed off of him, like mid match or something. I think that'd be really sick uh, as a as a, a, a third head scan for this thing. You got the tongue out face, you got the the freaking cloth, you got the interchangeable hands. It's just such a nice figure, guys. Easily my favorite Ultimate Edition to to date. And then we have another Ultimate Edition figure, guys, and it is Triple H from Corporate Triple H right here in the in the 2000s in the in the beautiful black and silver attire. I love this figure to death. I think it looks great. You know, you get all these awesome accessories. You get the sledgehammer. You get the WWF Championship. You got the you got the cloth shirt there. You get three interchangeable head sculpts. You get interchangeable hands. I am super duper excited for this. Not only that, guys, but you get his signature hat that he always used to wear back in the day, and it looks great, man. I, I am super excited for this, but that Finn Balor, man, that Finn Balor has got me super excited. I cannot wait for both of these, man. Th this is easily my favorite uh, series of Ultimate Edition. Both of these are in series number three of Ultimate Edition, so this is what both of these look like, and um, next up, guys, we do have some new images of some new figures as well. I know I'd like to harp on these two figures all night, but I, I can't. You know, we got to move along, and we got to get into the other things that they showed us here. So starting off first, guys, we have some final painted product pictures of Basic Series 100. You guys can see there on your screen, you have Undertaker. The head scan looks phenomenal. You have Stone Cold, same thing. We get the white knee braces. And then we have John Cena, which I think is a perfect head sculpt. I love that John Cena head sculpt in the 8-bit attire. And then we have two uh, uh, Shawn Michaels figures. One of them is the Chase. I think the the main red one is a uh, is the Chase one. And it kind of sucks, guys, because this is what I wanted for Elites. I wanted this figure for Elites, and um, it looks like we're getting it in Basic Series 100 in this attire. So hopefully we get a, an elite revealed tomorrow of, of those two figures. I really want that era Shawn Michaels in elite form. You also have The Rock, which I think looks great. That whole series looks great. You know, we've seen these before, except these are the final painted product. Uh, this is the final product, you know, painted in all its glory and stuff. And I'm sure the packaging will look nice with it as well. We have Battle Pack Series 61, Peyton Royce and Billy Kay, the Iconics you guys can see here. We saw renders of these before. I think I showed them off on the channel earlier. Uh, we, we covered these in a video before, but they look great. I love the way Billy Kay looks. I know she her figure got canceled once or twice from Target. It was going to be an NXT Target exclusive basic. That got canceled, but here she is with Peyton Royce. I'm not a big fan of the Peyton Royce head scan. It does. It's like she kind of looks goofy or something. I feel like it could be better, but uh, nonetheless, we are getting Iconics figures, which will go nice in our women's divisions. Another battle pack from that series that we have, guys, is Battle Pack Series 61 Usos. These are basically, it's basically the white, the, the Elite 54 Usos is basically what this is, but it's in battle pack form. Then we have the Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles battle pack, which I don't think anybody really cares about. It's, it's Battle Pack Series 61 AJ and Daniel Bryan with the Royal Rumble attire and then the uh, the blue and black and white of AJ Styles with the same head scan. So it's nothing too crazy here. And next up, guys, we do have more basic images. We have a basic series 101, and you guys can see there. I'm going to try to fit them all on the screen for you guys, but we have AJ Styles in a similar attire as the Battle Pack. We have a basic Bobby Lashley, which is pretty much... It's a different attire than the Elite, but I mean, I don't think anybody really... You know, we're not, we're not losing our minds over this right here. 
Uh, next up, we have Mustafa Ali, which looks pretty good. I love these attires. The gray and purple looks beautiful. And then, of course, we have the Chase version, which is the green, gray, and black, which looks fantastic as well. And this series is pretty solid. You know, I'm not big on the basics, but, you know, it is what it is. Also included in this, guys, is a basic series Sarah Logan figure, which looks pretty good. I think she's definitely the best one in the set, you know, because the women's figures have better articulation than the men when it comes to the basic figure. So there is Sarah Logan. So that is basic series 101 in its entirety another battle pack that we have guys is going to be cn almas and zelina vega these look great you know we saw renders of these when we saw renders of the iconics these look really good as well it looks like we're going to be getting cn almas's mask which is really cool i think that'll be really sweet um the 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 fist logos on the knees look pretty odd on this basic but you know it is a basic i think people are just going to buy it for the head scan regardless so there is that Next up, guys, we have a basic Seth Rollins, and I do not know if this is a, supposed to be a battle pack or a basic, but you will see it is the Thanos attire. Yes, it is the Thanos attire. However, it is not an elite. It is a basic slash battle pack figure, and that is pretty disappointing. You know, it, it sucks. It does look good, though. That is a brand new head skin as well. I think this is basic series 103 Seth Rollins, actually, and it look, I like the head skin. The hair's brownish, but you know what? Maybe we'll get an elite tomorrow. I'm, I'm crossing my fingers, and hopefully we'll get an elite on tomorrow moving on guys here we have more battle packs for you guys and it is um this is a prototype image of the authors of pain and we are not only getting authors of pain but we are also getting drake maverick yes we're getting drake maverick with our authors of pain and i think there's two different drake mavericks at that there's one in the green and there's also one in the black so we get two different drake maverick figures i like the head scan on there they look pretty good you also have aop another figure that we're getting guys is a trash corbin yes we are getting trash corbin with our uh, our new basics we have a trash corbin figure which which you know what i'm not even gonna lie to you guys it looks pretty solid i'm actually kind of excited for it you know get that trash corbin figure in here even though it's going to be complete trash we do get a bald headed trash corbin figure for our collections and it, it kind of looks odd it kind of looks like a movie figure or something it doesn't really look like a wwe action figure so that's pretty funny there we also have a uh basic jeff hardy with the face paint looks great i can't remember if this is supposed to be a part of series 101 maybe it is maybe i'm just messing up my order here but i really do love the face paint on this it looks really strong i like the jeff hardy face paint really teal bright colors going on right here and what else do we have here um, we also have new images of a brand new Elite Vince McMahon, as you guys can see. I think that's the Elite 70, if we're correct, the one that we talked about. And it is a flashback, which we called, so we, we predicted that correct here on the channel. We have this Elite Vince McMahon flashback. I love the blue suit going on. I love the gray pants going on. Looks really, really strong. He comes with a mic and everything. I'm not really big on the head scan, but you know what? It's a young Vince McMahon, so I'm not going to nitpick too much at it. It looks pretty good. I like the, the suited body that we're getting for this Vince McMahon. I really enjoyed that. And another Elite that we're going to be getting, guys, is this Asuka. Yes, this Asuka with the crown. And she is not going to come with her kimono, her you know her Roth, her cloth robe. She is not going to be coming with that. That is something that we did find out from Bill, I believe. So we are not going to be getting, getting her kimono. But the Oscar figure looks great, no, no, nonetheless. And also she uh, she looks good. All her figures always you know turn out really really well. So uh, what else do we have over here? I mean, there's there's so many good things, man. I mean, I, I really do love all the reveals that we've gotten. I know they're they're not you know super super big or anything like that, but so far, I mean that that Ultimate Edition Finn Balor and then the Ultimate Edition uh, Triple H is just absolutely beautiful. So I I really wanted to get this in here and show you guys these. I think that's pretty much it. Besides these Ghostbusters figures, we do have the Ghostbusters display here, and they're looking pretty freaking good, man. I, I I'm not big on the series, you know. I'm not a big Ghostbusters fan or anything like that, but this display is pretty cool i'm not gonna lie to you it's a pretty cool display you got undertaker in the middle there you got you know cena and hbk and stone cold and rock all around there looking pretty good and the again the display looks fantastic i wish we were getting the display i'd probably buy the display for like a pay-per-view setup or something and uh, we also not only did we get that guys but we also got some confirmed ringside exclusive news that we covered yesterday and the major wrestling figure podcast that is going to be legitimate all of those all of those products we talked about that are going to be limited edition of 300 those are actually going to be happening so the the announce table set 
the ultimate, you know, um, tables, ladders, chairs, TLC play set, and then the t-shirt and the custom championship belt. All of that will be ringside exclusive. It's confirmed. And um, I don't think everything's final product just yet, but there are going to be 300 of them. They're going to be ringside exclusive, and I think there are going to be available on the website. And I think we're waiting on further details on that, but that is all legitimate. I, I think that's crazy that that is legitimate. We're going to be getting that title belt, that t-shirt, and we are going to be getting the TLC playset as well as the commentator playset. So that is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, that way, that is that is legitimate. I can't believe that's legitimate. But you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get them anyways for you guys. I think that'd be pretty cool to try and track those down. And then the last figure, I think I think this is the last figure that we have, guys. And it is the ultimate, not a ultimate edition. It's the women's elite page. Yes, we have page here. Uh, that's a little funny pun joke right there. Page here. So Paige is right here looking great. I, I love this head scan. I think it's the best Paige figure to date as far as the head scan is concerned. I'm not too crazy about the hoodie because it's going to limit her articulation. But nonetheless, the Paige figure does look good. And it looks just like her, so that's one bonus. But I think that is it for all of the reveals, guys. I, I don't think I have any more reveals for preview night as of tonight. Um, and I'm just be, I'm just getting word right now that we are getting... Uh, that Drake Maverick figure is a part of Basic Series 103, and then the black version is the Chase variant. So that is that is word that I'm getting right now. And uh, Jeff Hardy, that Jeff Hardy Basic is also a part of Basic Series 103, and then Trash Corbin is also a part of Series 103. So uh, all those figures are a part of Basic Series 103. And then you guys saw the Ultimate Edition Finn Balor, and you guys saw the Ultimate Edition Triple H. All those figures look fantastic, man. I think I think this is it for preview night though because you know tomorrow tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna get all the good stuff guys and i think it was a pretty good you know preview night i mean that showed off that epic ultimate edition finn balor and triple h i mean my god i love those figures i am so excited for those and then we got all these different battle packs of first time in the line guys and we got drake maverick and we got all these different things going on with battle packs and stuff so i i think it was a successful preview night i know it's not everything in the world but tomorrow and friday especially tomorrow i think tomorrow is going to be the big day and then Friday, I think, is also going to be massive. We're going to be updating the channel, guys. Do please put turn on your notification bell. Be ready. We're going to be uploading these videos, and I want you guys to be able to see them and check them out. We're going to cover all of the brand new news, all the brand new figures, and there's going to be dozens and dozens of renders of new figures coming next year and later on this year, and there's going to be Elite Series 70, 71, 72 all on display tomorrow, and it's going to be epic. I cannot wait to show them off and talk about them and uh, just pray for me tonight, guys, that, that that the Jack the Ripper Finn Balor, this is not the Finn Balor that I was talking about. The the Jack the Ripper Finn Balor will be revealed tomorrow, and if it doesn't have the ripped up torso, I'm going to have to cry in the corner, and it's it's not going to be a fun time. But I think that pretty much does it for SDCC Mattel WWE Preview Night, guys. Again, tomorrow will be the big day, and I'm going to be updating you guys, so definitely stay tuned. We're going to talk about all of it here on the channel, and it's going to be absolutely epic. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below what you think of all the new figures. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.